I can't believe that they have the nerve to drug test waiters now. <laughs> They've got the nerve to drug test. When they're just working for minimum wage, surviving on tips, trying to make an honest living, and you're going to insult them with a drug test? Meanwhile, Lance Armstrong can do so many drugs, one of his balls falls off. <laughs> But by all means, make sure the guy bringing out the cheesy bread at Red Lobster is stone cold sober so that he can be an example for the kids. He's a busser. He's supposed to be high. When I waited tables, I did a lot of drugs. So I could wait tables. Otherwise, when some customer asks me a stupid question like, how's the veal? I might be honest with them and say, ripped from its mother and kept in a cage. You want to order it? <laughs> My managers would be like, hey, Liz, why don't you take a smoke break? Get out of here. Go take a smoke break. And by smoke, I mean weed. Don't come back unless you're high. <laughs> oh, do it. I've been fired from every job that I've ever had. And it makes watching action films very difficult for me because in every action film, there's always a hard-nosed cop played by Bruce Willis or Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> and he's getting let go from the force. And everybody who they work with, they all come out and they rally to his defense. And they're all like, you can't fire him. He's the best cop we have in here. I'm not kidding. He saved my life. We were pinned down by 35 snipers. He didn't care about himself. He saved me instead. You fire him. You fire all of us. <laughs> Whenever I get fired. <laughs> Nobody ever does that. <laughs> Nobody ever comes out from the back and says, have you ever seen Liz work the fryer? I'm not kidding. We were pinned down by 35 cars in the drive-through. She didn't bust a sweat. Everybody got their fries. Everybody got their fries. You fire her. You fire all of us. Liz Stewart is Long John Silvers. <laughs> I did that joke and a friend of mine who came to see me said, you know what I like about watching you? You're not afraid to be ugly. <laughs> well, that's just great because apparently you're not afraid to be stabbed. 